Hello and welcome to Cut Saturn Lagrangian Particles tutorial. This video will give you a preview of how to set and to compute steady computations including made of glass particles injection into a vertical tube. These computations refer to Mr. Harnison's laboratory experiment. It was carried out in order to assess the impact of flow turbulence on particle dispersion in dilute turbulent two-phase flows. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set two cases. The first one will compute simulation without particle injection, and the second one will compute a simulation including particles injection based on case one. Like in the previous tutorial called Mixing T, please refer to PDF file if you need further detail on how to create and generate the mesh. Let's now proceed to computation settings. Setting case number one is pretty simple comparing to previous tutorials. As usual, make sure that the mesh file is well pasted into its uh, subfolder, just like we see here, mesh arneson.med and also the source file is also well pasted into the SRC subfolder just like this. Once this is done you can move to the graphic user interface of Cut Saturn then we can set the case. First save your XML document then move to mesh tab make sure mesh on sun is selected and standard computation 2. Regarding boundary zones you need to define two boundary zones the outlet and the wall. So you can save your XML document and move to calculation feature. Also we'll use standard helium single phase. We'll select the RRJ uh, Epsilon SSG turbulence model. The thermal model, the e energy equation should be deactivated forces should be applied following Z uh, axis and no need to add species transport to. So you can save your document and move to boundary conditions. Make sure initial initialization and physical properties are both ticked. In order to define initialization, velocity should be left as uh, default values are zeros. And physical properties are the following values uh, also available in the PDF tutorial. So once this is done, you can save your XML document. Then make sure the boundary conditions nature are also well defined. So BC1 outlet and BC2 wall. BC2 wall is a smooth wall. Then you will be done for this part. Regarding time settings, select steady, the simplex algorithm, then you can leave all this by all these values by default. Then you just need to select number of time steps up to 850 uh, steps. This is done. Make sure the restart from checkpoint is off. Then you will be done and you can save your document. Regarding post-processing, you can add monitoring points. Here I added, just like in the PDF tutorial, five monitoring points following Z axis. Then in the writer tab, you can also uh, make sure that everything here is well selected. We want to have um, converged results. So only the last iteration is important, so no need to add frequency uh, uh, option here. You can select periodic output. So this is done. No need to add profile. Then you can save and run your computation. Here you can select one processes. It will be enough for this computation. Then you can click on run calculation. Wait for it to start. As soon as the computation is finished, you can open PowerView, then have a look at the results. Here I will show you some uh, important uh, results. 
before moving to the next part on uh, case number two. As soon as the computation is done, you can open results, then plot velocity magnitude with power view. Velocity magnitudes will give you information here, and you should have the same results as I have. And as you can see on the screen, maximum value is 9.2 meter per second, while the minimum value is 6.4. In addition, you can create slices normal to Z at different heights in order to check if values are the same. So here I created slice number two located at 2.75 meters high. Do not forget to rescale. And here you have the maximum values uh, reaches 8.8 .8 meter per second. Another uh, slice was also created at the height of minus 1.5 meters. This regards the origin uh, shown previously in this tutorial. At minus 1.5 meter high, maximum values of velocity is 9 meter per second while the minimum value is 6.6. .6. Another thing that is very also interesting based on the probes you created in Cut Saturn is to make sure they all um, reaches for instance um, converge values. So here five the five probes created reaches each of them their own um, velocity values following x uh, component and I also did the same for the Z component and as you can see they all uh, converge to the, the the same values here so that is a good indicator that the computation was well done and also converged. In this case glass beads will be injected in the tube Injection point is located at the seeding point, as you can see on the left figure. The target of this case is to check particle dispersion, like the figure you can see on the right. Setting case number two could be either done by creating a new case via the terminal typing the create command, or thanks to this following procedure I will show you, based on case one. First thing to do is to go back to graphic user interface and case one set up XML. Then you can click on file, create a new case, type case two, make sure the current path is located in the same path as the current the case one. Then you can also tick the copy from option and set case one folder just like this click on open then you can click OK and a new window case 2 appears in addition as you can see in the working environment there is a new folder created called case 2 in which uh, all subfolders are created make sure in this SRC folder to copy and paste all the sources file uh, available in the data package of Code Saturn and here we're done you can save your XML document then we are going to set this case so first of all make sure uh, the fi mesh file is well selected uh, same thing for the execution mode standard computation option should be selected then in volume zone you can add a new volume zone call called particle underscore injection and the selection criteria here is called injection you can save you can also add the inlet boundary here inlet can save your XML document and move to calculation features. Here you need to add this option frozen carrier flow under additional features particle and droplets tracking. Then you can move to turbulence models uh, nothing uh, 
changed here um, everything in this calculation figures tab should be um, uh, live unchanged then you can move to particle and droplets tracking then make sure this option is unticked under statistics you can type 500 here and 500 here then click on calculation of volume statistics and make sure every option here are ticked you can save then move to volume conditions volume conditions here make sure you have the same um, window as follows and the same values for all sales volume condition this refers to case number one regarding particle injection condition everything are set in the sources files then you will be done with volume condition you can save you can move move to bound variations make sure the bc3 nature is an inlet then you can move to bc1 select particles outlet bc2 smooth wool and particles rebound and bc3 particles inlet then you are done with boundary conditions tab you can save move to time settings select this times constant the reference time step down to 0.002 second and the number of time steps of up to 3000 Regarding start and restart option, you can you can select start and restart option, then tick on and select the checkpoint case located in case one results folder. And here you have the iteration appearing. Then you can also tick calculation on frozen dynamic velocity pressure and turbulence. Don't worry if the next residuals values are zeros. This is because you ticked this um, this option too. Then numerical parameters. You can select green goes with iterative um, handling of non-orthogonalities. You can save. Then move to post processing. Here you can write. Um, the, you can um, under the writer tab select output every let's say uh, every uh, 0.1 seconds for each uh, file results and also for trajectories too this is an example the monitoring points are the same as case number one then you can move to Lagrangian solution control and tick every options here now you're done with the setting of case number two and you can proceed to run to the computation by clicking on run computation you can increase the number of processes if needed in order to uh, accelerate uh, the computation here so let's now move, move to the processing uh, phase where I will show some res results starting in this um, case once the computation is done you can plot the velocity as we did before so velocity in the tube in order to check if the results are the same as case number one so as you can see results are pretty pretty the same 9.2 uh, meter per second uh, as maximum value and the minimum value is 6.5 uh, mirrors located uh, near uh, the wall the wall in this case you can you need to load also particles case otherwise you won't be able to see particles behavior evolution step by step so I will show you the particles here you can plot particles particle diameter or particle mass velocity so let, let, let's pick velocity let's set the minimum time value which is 8 seconds then we will um, move frame by frame and see how particles behavior evolves through uh, through times 
so let's start and you know, forget to select the good range then here we have particles evolution and how how um, particles evolve evolves um, through the tube down um, down the tube in the downstream uh, flow so a good thing here is that we expected this kind of results and you can see glass beads evolving through uh, downstreams if you want to compare with, with Arneson's experimental data you can also plot profile we set in the cut cutter um, settings you can plot it and compare to experimental data also available in the PDF tutorial so this concludes this video tutorial I hope you enjoyed watching this video I highly recommend you to keep tracking cut cutter updates by checking on our channel or social media pages to get the latest news. Thank you for watching.